Hey everyone, uh, today I want to go through how to make a nice looking scroll rect uh, for your UI. Uh, this could be used as an inventory system, uh, settings, you know, anywhere where you have to scroll uh, where the content takes up more than can fit on the screen. Uh, pretty simple. There's a couple things that, well, they catch me often, even though I've done this a thousand times, and uh, they have caught me many times when I started, and I know a lot of people get confused by some of the UI stuff in Unity. So I'm gonna go through uh, how to set up a simple uh, scroll rect, and it should work in, you know, within any kind of screen, and uh, it will scale dynamically, and the scroll bar will appear if it needs to, and uh, will, you know, size as it needs to as well. So yeah, let's get started. All right, so let's open Unity into a brand new scene. I just called my scene UI scroll, call it whatever you want. I'm also going to pull the game view over. Whenever I'm doing UI work, I like to have a split view. I like to see the game, I like to see the scene. And the reason for that is, uh, you know, when you uh, change the aspect of the screen, um, you're also going to get a change in the, in the canvas. Um, and for that reason, I like to turn I, I like to change from free aspect, and I like to go to 16 by 9 uh, or 16 by 10, you know, whatever you're more comfortable working in. So if I go 16 by 9, and then we make our canvas. So go to UI, canvas, and we've got our canvas. Uh, you can see that that canvas never actually changes, um, and that's good. Uh, and then we can see whatever we put in the canvas, we can see reflected on screen in the actual game view and we can kind of see what it looks like and keep tabs on it. That's my preference for doing that. So first thing we're going to do in this canvas is we're going to create a empty game object and we're going to call this uh, inventory yeah, um, overlay, inventory overlay. And we're just going to add an image to this image and we're going to make it stretch the entire size so zero 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 uh, oh zero okay uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to make it black and go about I don't know 230 for the alpha or so and that creates kind of like an overlay effect right I can still see the game behind it um, but it's not it, the game won't interfere with the UI um, actually lighten that up just a little bit, 210. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. Second thing we're gonna do is inside that Unity, or sorry, inside that inventory overlay, we're gonna right click again. We're gonna hit uh, UI and we're gonna go to scroll view. So that's gonna create this nice little scroll view here. Um, it looks a little large, but uh, we'll get to that in a sec. Um, actually, let's solve that right now. So go to, go to your canvas. And since we're designing this for a 16 by nine uh, ratio, you can kind of use that as your base. Um, so instead of constant pixel size, let's go scale with screen size. Uh, and let's go 1920 by 1080. That's a good uh, 16 by nine ratio, kind of, kind of a standard for gaming. Um, you know, it probably won't be for long, but it is right now. Uh, and match width or height, I, I, I don't know. It depends on what you're doing with the UI. I'm gonna leave it on width for now, but height can also be good. Um, and you can leave it in the middle if you're unsure. You know, you just play with it. That's not re what really what we're here to learn right now. So, you know, you do you. And uh, yeah, if it doesn't work, uh, try something different. So we've got this canvas, we've got this overlay, and we've got this scroll view. So the scroll view is what we're focused on. Uh, I think the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make it a little bigger. Because, you know, we want to be able to see these examples a little better. And I'm just going to make this a little smaller. So let's make it... Uh, uh, let's make it 800 by 600. How about that? Okay, and the next thing we're going to do is we don't want to be able to scroll horizontally. So we're just going to turn that off. Horizontal scrolling off. And what I usually do if I know for sure that I'm not going to be using horizontal scrolling, I just go ahead and just delete that bar, the scroll bar. And that then that vertical scroll bar, uh, what we want to do here, no, that's fine. Perfect, so we've got our scroll view. Uh, now I'm gonna show you what I think is a problem um, 
that Unity doesn't really fix for you right off the bat with the scroll view, which I think is fine, but it took me a while to figure it out. It took me a lot of tries to figure it out, and it took me uh, a lot of doing it correctly to learn how to do it correctly uh, without really having to think about it. So I feel like that's something people uh, would like to learn. So what we want to do is we want to create uh, a couple sections in our scroll view. Let's pretend this is an inventory, um, and let's pretend we have a backpack and we have uh, I don't know, stuff in our base, and we have stuff that's out in the wild. Let's let's go with that. I've been playing a lot of uh, RimWorld lately, and I don't know, for some reason that just kind of reminded me of a way to do this. So um, let's make our three sections. So you're going to do that under the content of the scroll view. Uh, let's go backpack. Duplicate that, and let's make our, uh, what was it, home and world. How about that? Backpack, home, world. So stuff you're carrying, stuff that's in your house, and the stuff that's in the world. Uh, so we want each of these to be a section of items. So they're gonna, it's just gonna be like a square grid, sorry, a grid of squares. Um, and they're just going to be wrap. So as soon as you have like six, it's gonna wrap to a new row and so forth. And the whole point of this is that the content is going to grow with however many items you have um, it's not going to matter. You can put a thousand in there and you should be able to scroll it and see all of them. That's kind of what we're trying to accomplish today. So um, a, a good way to do this might be to actually get rid of the, the second two and focus on just one until we have it built correctly and then you can duplicate it. So we have a backpack. Uh, we want a title of this section, which is going to be called backpack, but let's just call uh, the actual item title, and let's add a text component, and let's call it backpack. So now we've got our backpack title right there. It's very out of place, but that's okay. We'll fix that in a sec. Um, now, under the backpack, we're also going to want a grid of items. So let's call this item grid, and let's not add a component to that yet. Um, First, let's go and create a item. Okay, and the item in this case is just gonna be an image. Um, actually, let's, let's set this up as if you were actually gonna use it. So um, what I actually wanna set up is a button because you wanna be able to click it and it, have it do something, right? So we're gonna add a button and an image, okay? Perfect, we're not actually gonna code this and set up the buttons and all that. That's, you know, that's, that's for you to do in, in your own project. Um, maybe I'll make a tutorial about that later. It's, it's fairly simple. Uh, so item grid, item, and let's duplicate this item a bunch. Let's say there's, uh, I don't know, like there, there's 16 items in your backpack. So right now they're all on top of each other. You, could, you only really see one, they're all there, but you only see one. So we're gonna to go to this item grid, which is the parent of all the items. We're gonna add a grid layout group. We're going to uh, make the cell sizes. Yeah, 100 by 100 is fine. That means each image will be 100 units by 100 units. That's fine. And let's put some spacing in here. So let's get four uh, on X and four on Y. That means there'll be a space of four between each object and a space of four like this between each row. <clears throat> And as you can see, it's just one big column right now. And that's because our item grid is so tiny. And that's because the backpack is tiny. And that's because the content is tiny. Sorry, the content isn't really tiny, but the backpack is. So here's where things get a little confusing. Let's see if I can explain this correctly. So the content is gonna have three sections, backpack, home, world. We want those to, um, be listed vertically. So in order to do that, very simple, we add a vertical layout group. So what that does um, is it takes whatever images, or sorry, whatever items are in the hierarchy and it sorts them from top to bottom using the actual uh, uh, order of the hierarchy. So we are going to also say that it controls uh, the width, but not the height. Actually, sorry, we don't want it to control the, the width. We just want to expand anything that's under it to expand uh, the entire width of the content. So backpack, for example, is now 783 units wide. Um, 
And actually, let's turn this back on, this uh, content controls or child control size. So now, uh, if you can see, if we go back to the backpack, we can't actually control the width. It's just automatically expanded to the size of the content. And I think that's preferable for this situation. So the height is 100, but we actually want to make that, uh, we, we want to make the height be variable depending on how many items are in the backpack. So easiest way to do that is, uh, well, the first thing we want to do is we want to add a vertical layout group to the backpack. And what that does is it takes the title and the item grid and it stacks those one on top of each of another. So title will be first, item grid will be second. Okay, pretty easy. And we also want the backpack to control the width of the title and the width of the item grid. It, it'll just expand them to the size of the backpack. Perfect. So we are doing good. So you can see I can add as many of these as I want, these items, and they'll just wrap, right? So that's fine. Let's leave it at 20, well, it's 25, because it doesn't count this one in the numbering here. But uh, so we got 25 items in the backpack. Uh, we have an item grid. Now here's one of the issues with the item grid. It's only 100 units tall, which it can't be, because we have four rows of items going, which means it has to be at least 400 tall, not, uh, not to mention the padding in between. So in order to get this to be the height that it needs to be, um, we need to add a content size fitter and we need to set vertical fit to preferred. And sometimes you have to hit save to have it refresh. Uh, so you can see as soon as I did that, it's now 412 units high. Perfect, we're golden. Um, let's do one more thing here. Let's make this title smaller. Let's make it like 30. Okay, so you can see now we have a backpack and we have all these items in the backpack and it's the correct size. So the backpack altogether, sorry, the backpack altogether is not the correct size, um, but the item grid is. So we have to add a, another content size fitter here to the actual backpack. And again, say preferred size, hit save. And now it's 442 units high, which is perfect because we know that the item grid is 412 and the title is as high as we want it to be. That's set by us and it's 30 right now. So altogether that makes 442. We are golden. So uh, the next thing would be to add another backpack. And we're not actually gonna call it backpack. It's gonna be called home. What I meant was another section. Um, and let's take that title and let's call it home. Ooh, we don't want to enter after that. And let's do this one more time for our world items. And let's grab the title, let's call it world, if I can spell correctly, and we're golden. That's it, we're done, right? But we're not, because watch, when I push play, what happens is I can't scroll. Um, and there's very easy reason as to why this is. Um, so what's happening here is the content itself is only 300 units high, right? So this, this to here, so top to the bottom, 300 units. Um, again, we have to add a content size fitter. So if we add a content size fitter to this and we say vertical fit preferred, hey look, all of a sudden a scroll bar appears and now we can scroll. So that's really the whole trick. And wow, the scrolling is super slow. So we can go back to our scroll view and we can say scroll sensitivity, I don't know, like 30. And we can click on here, oh, much better. Pretty cool, hey? And you know, for, for mobile games, elasticity is fine on the uh, scrolling, but I think we want it clamped um, for this purpose. And then it just stops instead of boing, boing, boing. That's, doesn't make any sense if you're scrolling with a mouse wheel. So yeah, that's it, we're good. Um, of course we have to push play again and we have to actually go and do that to our game objects one more time because it doesn't save during uh, play mode, which is completely fine. Uh, and then one more thing we're gonna do here is this scroll bar vertical. It used to have another scroll bar down here, the horizontal one. So 
this bottom padding is set to 17 to make room for that scroll bar, we can just hit zero. And that'll bring it right down to the edge. And that looks way better. And you can see it, you can see a little close up here. Much better. And yeah, that's it. I mean, the rest is all basically design and coding, but the UI layout works. And what I usually like to do is I like to make the items, sorry, I like to make, well, an item itself, I like to make a prefab, then I can instantiate, instantiate as many of them as I want. I like to make the sections a prefab, because then what I do in code is I instantiate section, 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 and then for each section, I instantiate whatever items I want. And yeah, it just, it's a really easy way to do it for you. As soon as you instantiate into that, it'll automatically lay everything out for you. It's, it's great. And uh, I don't think there's anything left to explain. I think we're good. So yeah, there you go. Now we've got, uh, let's maximize this here. Now we've got a nice little scroll bar with a bunch of horribly padded sections, but that stuff's all really easy to change. So, oh, that inertia is still there, or sorry, elastic scrolling, but yeah, there you go. So yeah, until next time, uh, I'll see you later and keep learning.